If you can't wait to see what native sleep tracking looks like on the Apple Watch and test out some of the other new features coming with watchOS 7, well, this may be your chance because for the first time ever, Apple is releasing a public beta of watchOS 7 and it's available to download right now. Let's get the disclaimers out of the way. And this is by no means the final version of watchOS 7. So just be warned that it may still have a couple of bugs to work out and may not be the most stable version of it. That being said, we don't recommend installing it on your main device. Although let's be honest, how many of us other than CNET reviewers have extra Apple watches lying around? To get started, you're going to have to install the public beta of iOS 14 on your iPhone or second iPhone. You can do this by going to the developers program on apple.com. And once you've installed the iOS 14 public beta, then you can go to the right and click on watch OS public beta and then download the profile first onto your device and then into your Apple Watch. This whole process, depending on your internet connection, may take hours, so be ready to kill some time. And once you're done, let's take a look at what's inside. So there you have it. This watch is already running the public beta of watchOS 7, and I'm just gonna go ahead and dive right in to sleep tracking because to be honest, it's the one that I've been most curious about. It's one that we've been waiting on for a long time on the Apple Watch. You could already do this through third-party apps, but I'm curious to see how Apple does it natively on the watch. And I'm gonna scroll down, see if I can find it. I'm assuming, there we go. It's called sleep, yay. So we're gonna see what it says. Use sleep to schedule your wake up alarm bedtime. Bedtime reminders on the Apple Watch and iPhone. So Apple is focusing on your bedtime routine more so than the sleep itself. I'm gonna hit next, and then I'm going to set up a sleep goal. Obviously the recommended amount is eight hours. That's not realistic for me, but I'm just gonna go ahead and set it up like that. This is what my schedule looks like. My bedtime is 11 p.m. and my wake up is 7 a.m. Now, I don't know what it's going to do to quote unquote wind me down before 11 o'clock, but I will have to get back to you on that one. And then I'm gonna hit next. Computer's dying. Time of sleep tracking. Your watch uses your motion to detect sleep when you wear it to bed in sleep mode. I, yes, I'm going to enable this. And sleep mode on the Apple Watch. We'll turn off your Apple Watch's display and lock it so you won't wake, so it won't wake you up, okay. Sleep mode on iPhone, sleep mode can simplify your lock screen at your scheduled bedtime. It will also turn on do not disturb to reduce interruptions. Yes, enable, why not? I'm going all in on this sleep thing. Wind down, sleep mode can begin before bedtime to reduce distractions and help you relax. Okay. 45 minutes before bedtime, that seems like a lot. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and move it to 30 minutes because that's a little bit more realistic and enable it. All right. So charge reminders, you'll also receive a charge reminder to make sure that it can make it through the night. That's great. Let's hit next. All right, so here's what I have. Sleep is set up. I have my sleep goal, my sleep schedule for every day, my wind down routine, which is gonna be 30 minutes ahead of the 11 o'clock bedtime. And my sleep mode is going to be on for the watch and the do not disturb is gonna be on for the iPhone. Done. Now let's move on to the fitness features and there are a ton of new ones on watchOS 7, but there are some new workout types that this watch can track. So what Apple does, and there goes my computer again, is that it tailors the algorithm to match the specific workout. And this is supposed to give you more accurate credit when it comes to calories. Uh, the new ones, let me see if I can find them. Uh, hopefully they're loaded on here. There we go. Functional strength training, dance, cool down, 
and core training. Now you could always label as other, but you get the credit of a brisk walk and a lot of the times not necessarily accurate. And the next feature that I want to show you is not necessarily a fitness feature, but it kind of ties into the fitness world and that is bike navigation. So I'm going to scroll up to the maps and see if I can find it. Um, let's see. Let's search for somewhere that I want to go. Let's do some restaurants that I cannot go to. How about that? All right, so I have walking directions, driving, public transport, and here we have it. Bike directions, three minutes, that's pretty quick. And let's click on it, why not? I mean, it looks pretty average, but it's supposed to tell you if your route has any stairs and other type of bike specific navigations. I'll test this out further, but for now, there you have it. So what's new in messages? Let's take a look. All right, I'm going to text myself, because that's what I do. I can reply to that specific text and with a, sure, cool, mind blown. That's what inline replies look like on the Apple Watch. Another big feature is the ability to customize and share your watch face. So I'm just gonna um, tap over here, hold and tap, and this looks a little bit different. I'm sure it looks different on each one, but I'm gonna start out with this one and I'm gonna press edit. And I think, I mean, this is pretty standard stuff that you can already do on the Apple Watch. So I'm gonna go back um, and see the sharing option. So I can share my awesome new design, send a little message. Let me share it with myself for starters. This is what the watch face sharing looks like when you're on the receiving end. Obviously I am not running um, iOS 14 on my personal phone, so I can't really do much with it, but this is kind of how it would look like. And while we're on the topic of watch faces, let me run you through a few of the new ones. You'll definitely see some familiar ones or some familiar takes on the watch faces but Apple promises a lot more customization in this new watch OS. So let's see what we can do with the Chronograph Pro, which is definitely a new one. So you can change up the time scale. And let's see what else, change up the color. You can change up the complications and let's keep going actually. This is the massive numerals one that you can also change the colors for. And also a new one is the ability to change the color on your photos. So baby pink right there. And again, every color you can imagine um, to match, I guess, your outfit or whatever it is that you're into, your straps, whatever. Now for one of my favorite features, which I kind of discovered by accident. So I knew that there was a new Translate app in iOS 14, but I couldn't find it on the Apple Watch. So I decided to put Siri to the test and you will notice that Siri has a new look on the Apple Watch. Siri, can you translate? Sure, translate into which language? Spanish. Okay, what would you like to translate? This has not been the biggest watchOS update of all time, but there are definitely some exciting new features to test out on your Apple Watch. Esta no ha sido la mayor actualización de watchOS de todos los tiempos, pero definitivamente hay algunas nuevas características emocionantes para probar en tu Apple Watch. For those of you who've taken the leap and installed the public beta of watchOS 7 on your Apple Watch, let me know what you think so far. And those of you who haven't, let me know which one of the features that I just showed you, you're most excited about. Let me know in the comment section below. We are expecting an official version of watchOS 7 to launch at some point in September. But as you know, this hasn't been the most normal of years. So anything could happen really. I will, of course, continue to update you on what I know on Cena.com and on YouTube. So I will see you guys next time.